Hello, hello, hello there, my crafty beds. It's your crafty bed, Peggy. And welcome to Stormy's Imagination Station. Guys, I've got you upside down. I've found a new way to film. Like I said, I'm going to give you all a tour later. Anyways, what we're doing today, guys, is we're making the cute little uh, bottle cap necklaces, charm necklaces. And this is what they're going to look like to go inside of our Stampin' Up! Be My Valentine uh, Pillow Box Project is, that's come out in uh, January. So guys, in order to do this, you're going to need some bottle caps. I have some raw ones here. I like making uh, bottle caps from time to time, so I have a package of bottle caps. Guys, I'm also using a bottle cap hole punch. They have one, yes, specifically for punching bottle caps okay if you have a punch it'll fit down inside the ridge here though you should be fine i also have some uh, leather cording i have two different sizes of beads these are a little bit bigger than seed beads and then we have some cute decorative beads i also have some needle nose pliers as well as some uh, wire snips okay so just grab your tools we also need glue I'm also using glossy accents as well as a good glue. You're going to need some jump rings and some head pins. You're also going to need some glitter. I'm using a punch that's three quarter inch and an inch punch as well as some decorative papers. Okay guys, so let's begin. Guys, the first thing you're going to do is want to punch out your uh, images that's going inside and on the back of your bottle cap. So with the one inch punch, I've chosen this beautiful uh, metallic. And then for the inside, I have found a beautiful heart print. So I've used the three quarter inch punch on the heart and the one inch on the outside, okay? And all you're going to do is just simply glue your one inch to the back of your bottle cap like this. Then... You're going to come back and glue the little one, uh, three quarter of an inch. Whoop, take the lid off, Peg. How you guys doing? I hope you guys have been having a wonderful time. Sorry I've been on. Uh, if you've seen my, my previous videos, you get kind of the gist. Anyways, I'm trying to get back out here. Anyways, this is what this is going to look like. You've got a little ridge there on the inside. And that's what you want. Now then, guys, what we're going to do is just do a thin, do not clump it, okay? Just as little as you can get. Just go around the outer edge of your three-quarter inch on the inside there, just like this, okay? And then you're going to take just simply some glitter and just a little bit. And then all around... excess back in there if you get any on the image there as long as there ain't no glue on it you can wipe that off and that's what that's going to look like guys okay then with your glossy accents and there that is dry now you can leave it like that if you want if you don't have any glossy accents but me I'm going to go over mine with some glossy and all I'm doing guys is just going around uh-oh I think I'm gonna need to unclog the um, the top of it here there we go just use one of your head pins just do a little thin around the outer where your glitter is just start with that and just go all around it you don't have to squeeze a whole bunch into this guys and then just cover up your picture just a little bit okay there we go just like that okay and then whenever it's dry you're going to have a nice finish on that and then they can touch that or whatever and it's not going to come off and you can see the glitter through it. Isn't that cute, y'all? Isn't that pretty? Okay, now the next thing we're going to want to do, guys, is get our jump rings out. So get your needle nose pliers. I like to use two. I always have a set of two. Now I have these split rings here that I'm using. And all you're going to do, guys, is the top one, I'm putting one that's a little bit bigger. Just big enough that you can get the cording down in it, okay? 
and I'm just simply starting it on the edge. I'm finding the... Now, you're going to want to punch... Oh, I almost forgot this step. You're going to want to punch a hole in the top and the bottom down inside here. I almost forgot that step, didn't I, guys? I'm so sorry. Just like this. Now, with this hole punch, with this one here, it's made for this. So, you're just going to want to stick it down inside there of the edge just a little bit, just like that. And that punches the hole right through it. And then you're going to match it up straight down to the bottom there and pop another hole in. And there you go. And then if it does get a little clogged with your glossy accents, just run a needle through it there and clean it back out and it will uh, work, okay? Anyways, now then, just find the edge of your split ring and start it around the edge there until you find the hole and then pop it in. And then get you a, um, you can use the same kind, whatever you have, but big enough to where you can put a charm on the bottom, okay? So you're going to have a top and a bottom that looks like this. You've got your two jump rings on the side there and you're ready to go, okay? Now then, with your head pin, and again, this is what this looks like. It has a straight pin head on the end of it, but it's not sharp. It's blunt on this end and it's quite long, okay? <coughs> Now, guys, what I'm doing, I'm just doing three little beads on here. I'm starting with one that's a little bit bigger than the seed beads, putting it on the end. Then I'm coming back with this cute little pink one right here. And then topping it off with another one of the bigger than the seed bead. Just like that. Okay? Now then, guys, with your wire cutter... You're going to want to leave a good half an inch and just simply trim off some of that excess, okay? See how I have that now? Now what you're going to do, guys, is take your needle nose pliers and it's bend, the, bend it over to the side like that. Y'all see that? Now then, with the bigger end, you see how this goes down graduated? I like to come up here so I get a nice loop. Now you're going to want to get it straight like this right here and get that edge and start curling it back. Okay? And you'll get a nice looking loop there. Okay? And then get it to where it's almost closed. <coughs> and right on the bottom, right before you close it off, Hook your bottle cap on. Now grab it again. I should have grabbed my glasses. Uh-oh. Yep, because I can't see right now. Let me get over here. I keep getting out of view. Anyways. Get this bead back down here. There we go. And close it. <coughs> like that. Okay. And then this is what you're going to look like. And you've got your cute little charm. Now you can add whatever you want to. You can add a, just a regular charm dangling off the end with, with your little uh, jump ring. Uh, before you put it on there, again, guys, let me show you. Uh, with your pliers, grab the edge of your jump rings. <coughs> and when you take them, whenever you move these apart, don't squeeze out. Do it like that. Twist it. Just like that. That way, whenever you put it on, and then you twist it back shut, it'll go shut flush. Instead of being, you know, all jacked up, and it won't shut all the way. Okay? Then here you go. You've got a cute little charm. Now all we're going to do is simply cut some of our leather cording, guys. And for this, all I do is go 
from the tip of my finger, I run it up to the top of my shoulder, and that's where I cut it. <laughs> I don't have a real, you know, sitting down and measuring this. This tends to work, and you can they can slip it over their head. And then all I'm going to do, guys, is just cord this up right here and make a little knot on the end. And there you go. And there's a cute little bottle cap necklace. And guys, these will fit perfectly down inside the little pillow boxes. I'm going to put these in little baggies. And these will be cute little necklaces for the guys to give the girls this Valentine's Day. So guys, if you have all these on hand, give this project a try. And tell me what you think down below. These are a lot of fun. Like I said, you can get the kids involved in these. Uh, these here you can do in a weekend. The longest part of it really would be letting the glossy accents dry. And that generally takes several hours. But these are such fun, guys. These are uh, fairly uh, economically priced. Uh, I think I don't even think I've got uh, $5 invested. And I'm going to have 24 of these cute little necklaces right here. So, Anyways, guys, give it a try. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell and stick around. We've got a lot of journals. Uh, and I've got a new mini album that I want to share with you. So make sure you come back for that. So, guys, until the next time, be crafty, be cool, and we'll see you when we're looking at you, all right? Bye-bye.